Hello, this is the online class for Wednesday in Kappa at 4 p.m. So hello, I hope you're all doing well and welcome to the online class. It'll be very different to what we, you know, how we usually do class, but the class will be the same, so there's nothing to be worried about. Um, the only thing I'd ask if you're taking the class is to have a notebook like this, so you can write things down. Write things down if you're having trouble with any of the exercises or if there's something you'd like me to do or anything, you can write it down and then you can send it to me on the YouTube, you can comment so that I can get it and we can talk. So it'll be a bit more interactive that way. But for now we're going to start the same way we always start with our beloved stretches. So I'm going to sit down on my lovely floor. As you can see, it's a lovely, spacious studio that I have. So if you don't have much space in your house either, don't worry, I'm going to do class in a small space, okay? So let's get cracking. Oh, and because I live in a complex, don't be surprised if you see people going up and down or if you hear anybody, just ignore it. Okay, let's get started. Favorite stretch and down and holding and let's put our heads up and chests up and stretch out your hands all the way up and now with nice pointed feet so stretch up and all the way down Up in case we haven't been using them in a while. 
So, sitting up nice and straight. Just for your toes. So yeah. nice and slow. Then we'll have releve and down. We'll have our tendu to second position. So nothing new. Plie and straight. And plie and straight. Then we have our releve second position and down. Our tendu to fifth position. Plie and straight and plie and straighten. Now releve in fifth position, your right leg, remember, has to come scoop right in, two straight legs and down. Then we'll have tendu, close, left leg in front of them. Do everything on the left, um, in fifth on the left. Two, then we have our left leg to come in front, scooping right in, up, hold and down. And then we'll have a right leg tendu back to first. Okay? And don't be afraid while you're watching this video to stop the video, rewind if you need to look at it again. Don't feel you have to keep up with it all the time. If you need more time with it, take your time. Okay. So when you have your left hand this way, this is the right side. When you have your right hand on like this, this will be the left side, we're working the left leg. I know it's mirrored to you, so this is my right leg, this is my left leg. So just be careful of that when you're watching and don't get mixed up. Now move my speaker. So, right leg, please. Thank you. 
So that's our plie. It's getting a bit hot now. So now I'm going to need to put on my proper shoes because as you can see there's lines all over the floor. I mean, it's fine for plies where I'm not really moving. But when I'm moving my feet, sliding my feet along for tondus and everything, those lines can get a bit in my way. So now we have our Tondu. So, I'm going to start these in first position for now. The first position here. And in our hip. So, we're going to have Tondu's en croix. And I hope you all remember what that means. So, we have devant, one Tondu, and close. And two, and close and three, and close, and four, and close, and five, and close, and six, and close. We're gonna have a deep plie, and a relevant. And then we're gonna start everything to the back. Two, 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 plie, relevant. Okay, and this is just for the right leg. So make sure you're doing it for your right. And the music. Okay. Even when I'm 
I'm not in the studio. The technology still hates me. <sighs> I'll play now and I least expect this. <laughs> your tondus, I hope you haven't forgotten, a bit closer. When you're doing your tondus, you must go through the demi point and then full point all the way back and bring those toes back so you're right in a nice first position so you don't have this coming back. That's now turned out. That's turned out. Okay, now I'm going to do it to the left side. So I'm going to face this way. Make sure you use your left leg. And remember, this time, try and do it from your memory. If you get stuck, I'll be doing it too. Oh, not that one. is sharp you have to hold it out so we're going to do that from first position today as well so from first we're going to have sharp and in that's right sharp and in so be careful if you're in a room with tiles make sure you be standing on this bit so that you don't get your toe stuck on one of them okay up and down two, two to the side, two to the back, and then instead of our slow plie and releve, we're going to have plie, releve, down, plie, releve, down. It's a bit faster, keep the energy up. Okay, so let us have our day. Here we go.
up too high. Two. And up, up, yeah, yeah. what it should look like like you're just stopping like you can't go any higher something's stopping you like my poor old chair now we try to the left Sure if we do, we'll bounce 
with our feet in first position. Okay? Now, remembering what rond de jambe is for and why we do it, I'm going to leave that question to you so you can send me a message on YouTube or you can comment below and we'll see who gets the answer first. Why do we do rond de jambe? What is important about it? What are we doing the exercise for? Which part? Which in it. So when you're, what I was trying to say during the exercise here, when you're going into the bar, arm needs to be here in fifth and it goes over with you. So the arm doesn't go further, it has to stay here down this line and then all of you has to go this way. So even if you're looking at me this way, my arm is still in line here and the other side. My arm is still the same place at the top of my head not gone over here. Okay? Now let's try that on the other side.
That is your run jump. So next on my list we have our retire and our preparation for fondue. Because fondue will be coming up when finally we get to come back. So retire we've learned a few years ago. And I'm going to go over it again. So this is going to be from the fifth position. Okay? So fifth position is coming in now. So, and don't be worried about getting the fifth completely turned out. If you need to have your feet a little bit apart, that's okay. You don't want to be forcing turn out from your knees. You just turn out from up here. Okay? So, retire is when we lift to the ball of our foot in front of our heel. And then we're going to lift up. And now straight away when those toes get off the floor, they have to point. I know we all know that. So, up. And it's only at the ankles. Not up here. It's here. It's pointed and your body is straight. So this isn't sticking up. That's not going down yet. And this knee is turned out. This knee is not over here. It has to be here. And when it gets here, see it here, we're going to start our preparation for fondue. So that means we're going to bend our knee. And we're going to straighten it. We're going to bend our knee. We're going to straighten it. And then we're going to put it toes back in front of the heel where we put it. And then back down. Okay? So nothing too complicated. So it's just our retire with two plies and then back again. And it's nice and slow. Make sure as well, when you're doing the retire here, I'll go as close as I can, you don't let this heel come back. I'm going to show you that from the side. This has to be forward. Okay? just twice because we're not used to it and I don't want us to get sore. Okay, so shake your legs after you do that one because it is making sure all these muscles are tight. Okay, let's do it on the left. we don't put our knees to the front they both have to go to the side so that is the same idea here two knees and our demi plie going to the side okay now we have our next one our frappe our frappe nice and short back into our fifth position we have tendu that is our preparation, very important, and flexed heel, okay? And some of you remember this before, but we're going to try it again. So, brush, adjust your leg height, and it goes 
behind. Now remember, you have to brush off the floor. And in front. And brush. And behind. And brush. Tendu. And wait. And in again. And we'll do it again. One. And behind. And one. And in front. And one. And behind. And one. And tendu. And close. Okay? Now, frappe means to strike. So, to beat or to strike. We're going to use it in this context to strike. Strike off the floor. Like you're striking a match. Like that. And it kind of makes the same noise off the floor, especially what it does here. That noise. Okay? But it comes from, the sound comes from here. The very ball of your foot. This part here. So don't be banging your toes, don't be banging your heels, just where my two fingers are. Okay, just from there. So let's give it a go. exercises with me and then getting them wrong and then going on to the next one you must go back and try and get everything right because your body will learn so much more when you know what you're doing okay So remember from earlier your retire was here. This was your retire we did in our fondue exercise. Now retire passe, passe means past or to pass. So we're going to retire past our knee. So from fifth position. Now you begin the same way you did with your other retire here. Then into the ankle. Then we're going to bring it up to the knee. We're going to bring it around the knee. Heel staying forward, gonna draw a line back down and demi point and down. And then we're gonna do the same thing coming from the back. So you lift up that heel just to the demi point. So you don't move your toes, just your heel. And then we point up the back of the leg, round to the front, demi point down. Okay, we're going to do that one and two and three and four and plie and elevate. We're going to do it twice and then we'll do it twice on the left. Okay, this is very important. So, let's get some music. <laughs> Thank you. 
hold up. So, now we must try it on the left leg. So remember, keep those knees all the way back, okay? We don't want it coming to the front and coming to the back that way. It has to be facing that way. And we want to see you draw a line up and down, okay? So try not to have it away from the leg. It has to be touching, okay? There must be contact with your leg. Okay, left side. Almost there. for our devlapes later on, later, later. So we're Tiray Passe done, and we've come to our, oh, almost our last one, our Grand Bâton. Now be very careful doing these in your kitchen, or in this case, my porch, that furniture doesn't get in your way. The last time I recorded, I knocked everything off that couch. <laughs> so we're gonna keep them very, very low. We've done these ones or twice. Grand Batman is your big brush up, so bigger than your jeté. And it's what your tendus and jetés have been building up towards, okay? So you must begin with a tendu to a jeté, to a Grand Batman, to a jeté, to a tendu, back to this. They all have to begin there. So very slowly, it'll go up and down. But it won't be that slow. It'll be quick. It'll be like this. So now, I don't want you trying to get your legs over your head or all the way over that way. It's just small, okay? They don't get big until you're much older and we can control everything in the legs and the shoulders. So, they're about 45 degrees, which is about about where your knees usually are, a little higher than knee height. So we'll do three to the front and then we might do a plie if there's time. Three to the sides. So when you go to the side, it'll be tendu goes back, jeté, tendu goes front, tendu back, plié, and then we'll go grand back the back. Like I said jeté, grand back the back, plié. We're going to tendu, plié, relevé, and down. Okay? So we're going to when I say mark it to the music first, so that I'll call it out first, so we know exactly what we're doing. Then I'll do it properly, both sides. So it'll be one. Let's give 
get out of world. Shake, 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 shake. What I want you to do after I finish the video 